I think there's likely a component of uh, hormones and migraines as well. I truly believe there's different types of migraines. So we do see a lot of migraines in men as well. So uh, it's just like epidemiological studies have shown that you know migraine is more common in women. Uh, again, probably due to hormonal issues, we see migraine being more often in the reproductive uh, time or age of the woman. The diagnosis of migraine is a clinical diagnosis. It's a diagnosis made talking with the patient and getting, you know, like the information about how often. Usually migraines, uh, by classification or by definition, they are more over one side, so they are usually unilateral. Usually the pain uh, is felt not a pressure like the tension type headaches, but more a throbbing uh, type of pain. That's part of the classification as well. And uh, many patients with migraine should have also features. So features we talk about being uh, sensitive to light, mm -hmm. sensitive to sound, those are features very classic and, and define migraine. So the, there is like two groups of treatment and I always uh, explain the patient, the patient have to understand there's two different groups of medications. So one group of the medications is you treat when you have the migraine attack. So the, the, the medications that are going to act acutely, like right now, they're going, the patient takes the medication and it helps right now. The other group are the preventive medications. So those are for the patients that are getting migraines too often. So if they are getting migraines at the point that is interfering in their week, in their life, in their work, uh, then they should be on a preventive medication. So she will probably be at least on two medications, one on a daily basis and another medication that she takes when she has the migraine episode. The, the migraines in general, the majority of the patients don't seek help mm -hmm. for that. And that's one uh, over time there is a risk that the patient might end up having a uh, like a worsening of the migraine, the migraine might turn into chronic migraine due to the fact that they are taking too many medications. So taking too many acute medications, the, the, the medications that they should only take during the migraine, taking too many even over-the-counter medications, even Tylenol, Ibuprofen, they might change the migraine to chronic migraine. And that's one of the most common like th those are the patients that I see more often as a new patient in my clinic. I think it, it, uh, it's uh, one thing that is important that I see is the patient that has a healthy lifestyle and has control over her life and feels that she has control over her migraine. Those are the patients that are going to do well. So it's also a lot about having a positive attitude towards their migraine, towards their condition. Those are the patients that are going to do well with treatment, with medical treatment. It's not only medical treatment, it's not only about pills uh, to uh, be, uh, you know, uh, to try to control migraines. It's about kind of sometimes life changes. So, you know, good diet and uh, exercise on a regular basis, keep the weight you know, not being, we know obesity is a risk factor for chronic migraines.